I have completed 4040 videos till date on YouTube and in today's video I'm going to share with you my observations after creating 40 videos so stay tuned Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivek Iyani and if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting the like button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I do a lot of videos on adulting so that you can live a life of fun, freedom, fortune and fulfillment. <sighs> I have completed 40 videos and like every 10 videos that I've done so far, I always do a review of how my last 10 videos were like and what are some of the changes that I've observed um, over recording these videos because I believe it's all about the process and the journey as opposed to an end result or a destination right because this is about me being a youtuber being comfortable with the camera sharing my life and being more comfortable sharing different things right and you know exploring the different topics so my first lesson right or first observation rather is that you know recently i had a call with a potential client uh, who wanted me to speak at one of their learning festivals and this is a huge multinational company and the one thing that the lady said was you know we just did a google search we saw your website then we saw your videos on youtube and we really liked it and we wanted to immediately get in touch with you because we feel like you'll be a really great speaker for our event and when I heard that right I was just so happy I was like oh my god somebody is actually you know viewing my videos they liking my videos they enjoyed it and the fact that Google and YouTube right are the most powerful engines right Google is the first and YouTube is the second if this is a testimony to show that you know if you are consistent and you really build your presence on social media and you are searchable right it will give you the opportunities you want and when you know the lady was sharing with me that that is how she actually found me and she built that she had the confidence to engage me as a speaker for her organization you know I was like blown away I was so happy I was like okay this is something that I wasn't at all expecting but because it happened and she said it I was like yes this is a motivation for me to continue the journey, to push through the process and really enjoy the journey all the way, right? So, you know, if you are out there, you are trying your best to do YouTube videos, you're not feeling motivated, you know, just keep at it. That's my observation. Eventually, you will see some signs of things that are working that will help you to propel faster and do much better work, right? In this journey of creating YouTube videos. All right, the second thing that you might have noticed already is this year I made a specific decision to actually outsource my editing to someone else because I felt that I was just spending too much time doing the editing. Even after I've discovered the Ecamm software and you know, doing all the transitions, I realized that you know at the end of the day, as much as I can save time on Ecamm, there is nothing like having someone else do the video editing for you because it is just not the kind of activity I enjoy doing. I love recording videos, I love sharing thoughts, I love sharing ideas, but uh, editing it's not really the thing that I enjoy the most. And by God's grace, I was able to find someone who is really good at editing and you know he does such a great job so thank you right for editing my videos and um, you know I just felt like I should have done this earlier right earlier I wasn't so sure if I should be the one editing or not so I tried it out I learned how to edit I overcame the fear of editing in these software in fact I can still do the basic edits myself I understand how things work on the software side but did I enjoy spending two to three hours perfecting the video? No. There are just so many things that can be perfected. There are just so many uh, elements that need to be tweaked before you can actually put this video out. If you want to put something of a certain standard, right? So that's why I realized that, you know, having someone do the editing for me will be a, a lot 
more easier on me on my time on my energy and on my resources as well right so for me i am so much happier because this year i haven't had to sit down and 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 you know put in a lot of energy just to do my youtube videos someone else is actually doing the editing for me i just need to record and upload that that's it and then once the editing is done i've got to then just put it up on youtube so it's become a much simpler process um, lesser headaches lesser frustrations so if you can afford to get an editor please 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 get someone to just edit your videos because you know learning the basics is fine but once you've learned the basics and you want to go to another level and you want to really build on creating better videos then outsource the editing to someone else that's my take that's my personal opinion take it or leave it but this is also the observation i've had after making 40 videos now on to the third thing right after making 40 videos right i've realized that you know my growth in terms of a channel has been pretty slow right and uh, this is something that i kind of uh, expected as well right? i didn't think that you know my channel had the potential to maybe grow really huge or anything but um, what i am craving or what i find myself looking out for is engagement now engagement in terms of having more people comment on the videos having more people engage with the content sharing the ideas now i don't know whether if it's the topics or if it's um, the content particularly or the delivery style or whatever it is right one thing i realized is that as a youtuber all i am doing is i'm coming i'm creating and i'm leaving right that's all i'm doing i'm not actually engaging in the youtube community so what that means is that i need to be engaging with other youtubers who are perhaps around the same number of subscribers as me or you know have are also starting out in their journey and supporting them and building a community so that you know it becomes a little bit more like a social media platform so um, engaging with other people's contents when they release it so that you know when I release my content I also have more viewers and more people engaging now I know I do this for LinkedIn I do this for Facebook but I don't really do this for YouTube right so creating a community is so important for us so that we can um, you know gather more people to engage with the contents we have right and it really depends from uh, one person to the other whether they like it or not it's a very individualistic and very subjective opinion but unless you do these things unless i do those things and engage with the community i cannot expect my community to grow right so this is something i've observed i've realized it and now what i'm going to be doing is have a lot more engagements with other youtubers who create really good content right um, and the whole idea behind this is to really be part of a community where we can share ideas and you know just just to make more friends online especially on youtube right so i know that to wrap all of this up um, the key thing that i always remember as a story is gary vaynerchuk uh, he took him two full years of creating youtube videos before actually people started taking notice of him and he did just videos purely on different types of wine right so uh, what i am doing is just following the same approach and adopting the mentality of patience patience and patience being as patient as possible so that you know i do not quit halfway right and i know that you know slowly but surely right things will go in a much faster way or in a much better direction right i'm also to be honest finding my footing on youtube i'm experimenting with topics i'm trying out different things right uh, because at this stage i don't think i'll be doing much harm to my uh, channel or i'll be going against the algorithms because i'm still starting up right i'm just bringing up the consistency i'm just throwing out different kinds of videos out there so it's a lot of experimentation that's going on so as a result i know that you know engaging with other youtube video uh, creators and you know channel people will help to bring more engagement and being patient is very important because being a creator is a long-term game right as a creative things take time to 
perfect, right? I, I definitely am looking to improve 1% at a time with every single video. So now it's more about working on the community side of things and embracing patience. It's a key virtue while creating all these videos, right? So these are my four observations I've had after creating 40 videos. Right, you notice that from my first 10 to second 20 and 30, I have a video review of uh, you know every 10 videos that I've done so far, and uh, it has kind of given me some insights of where I was when I just created 10 videos, 20 videos, 30 videos, and now this is my 40th video. Now, when I hit 50 videos, I hope I have more realizations about what. Uh, I can share with you about what I should and what I shouldn't do that I can share with you. So look forward to sharing my 50th video with you as well. If you are new here, please consider subscribing, right? It will motivate me a lot. And um, if you like this video, hit like and share a comment, right? What are some changes you have seen in my past videos from the first one till now? If you've seen any great differences, right? If you've watched all the way till here, please comment what are the key differences you've seen right and um, also right uh, please do share this with someone else who might benefit who is struggling in the youtube channel because then they too can understand that it's all about being patient and consistent and letting go of what the actual result should be like all right that's my 40th video thank you guys for being with me all this while all those of you who have already subscribed really grateful to have you as a subscriber and really looking forward to giving you great content that will enrich you educate you empower you and entertain you okay i'll see you guys in my next video bye